Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So creating environments or scenes in Blender takes a lot of time, especially if you are going to model everything. But you shouldn't model everything. There are tons of free assets and content out there you could take advantage of. Today we're going to look at this amazing model creator, Chuck CG, who has made it his goal to make your life easier by just handing you free assets to use in your personal and commercial projects. He has free asset packs from plants and vegetation, medieval and fantasy props, to industry and sci-fi assets. Basically, he, cov he has covered almost every field you could think of. So if you are making anything in Blender, don't start yet until you watch this video. You may save yourself a lot of time and stress. So let's explore some of his assets, starting with the fantasy props. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description uh, to where you can download uh, these. He has a Gumroad page where he has all these different packages so this is uh, his fantasy props and you can see that uh, the props are well detailed and uh, they're using pbr textures i think this is 4k uh textures you can see how great this is and uh, uh the wheel can still turn uh it's, it's a it's a great model so yeah nice 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 and uh, it has this uh bridge as well I i'm going to create a scene out of this uh out of some of these props he has and uh actually uh, if you have the asset library, I'm just going to, you can use the asset browser, but I'm going to use my asset library to organize these in somewhere. And uh, I'm just going to rename these into, let me use, using control F2. I name these, all of these uh, in a way that I can easily find them. So I'm going to create set name, new, and I'm just going to call them medieval Chuck CG props. Yeah, I think that's going to make it, make them much easier to see medieval Chuck CG props. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to use my asset library to easily add them. And I'm going to create a new library. Let me just call this, uh, then just link. And uh, I can just select all objects and create a new category. Call it medieval, medieval props. Add at once. Perfect. Now we should be, yeah, we have all of them now here, which is great. Let me save this. Okay, now with that, if I just create a new project, I can easily reuse them. So, yeah, like that. So that's the medieval props. Uh, he also has a ton of other props. You can see I've just created a, pro a project where you uh, a page here where you can see, read about everything, and just go to the, to his download page and uh, download uh, the assets. He has uh, this natural set grass uh which i have already downloaded uh here uh, it has a ton of plants you can easily create an ecosystem here let me just use a plane subdivide it a few times and i uh, just displace displace it a bit uh, maybe even add a subdivision surface with this uh, uh material yes keep everything simple so this is just use a particle system here and just going to make sure that uh turn on advanced and uh, in the physics we're going to just in the velocity let's just use uh, the z direction and uh, in the render render let's just use a collection and uh, you can see it has a lot of collections here let's use the grass collection It's facing the wrong direction, so you can turn on rotation and just change this to normal. Yeah, we have grass. You can have more particles, maybe even use children. Now then you can just duplicate this collection and change the collection to a different, maybe let's use uh, flowers. See how beautiful things look here. Yeah. You don't even need, need an, an extra add-on to, uh, to instance this. You can just use the legacy uh, particle system to instance uh, uh, this. Now, they look good. So from the vegetation, he has the industrial park. You can see some of the assets here. Very well detailed. And uh, the great thing about his assets, they are all using PBR textures. He also has some mountains. And you can see they are well detailed mountain so they would be very great for background i like i love this one especially you can see how it looks 
and uh, it also uses PBR textures. Yeah, so yeah, I think it can also work out for close-ups and everything. So that would be nice. I'm going to be link leaving links in the description, and I will also try to explore more artists like this who have free content for you to download. So thank you for watching. All the links are going to be in the description if you want to download other assets.